goats can be pretty destructive. Any plants that the goats are confined with are basically doomed. Just look at the bark on this tree stump. Our goats have been eating it away and they've been scraping it off as they rub up against it to scratch themselves. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Tree stumps will deteriorate all on their own given enough time. And actually it'll be pretty interesting to watch it as it changes, right underneath the bark, the wood has a really beautiful texture. So, just a different kind of beauty out here. You don't miss the ferns? No. Why not? Okay. Any plants that the goats are confined with are basically doomed. Not much left of those ferns. Wendy has actually been trying to encourage grass to grow out here. So our goats can do a little bit of natural grazing but we really don't have anywhere near the land that we would need to do rotational grazing that would allow vegetation to recover. The bottle baby goats had been able to stick their heads through these openings far enough to eat back this fern. It's coming back. I've been giving it a little extra water and trying to encourage it to get big again. But uh, yeah, you can just see, that's the fern they could reach. They couldn't reach these other two. Goats will be goats. And just how are our new chickens doing? I'm actually shooting this the day after I moved that first half of our chickens out here to the coop. So the other half haven't been brought over yet, but it never fails. Whenever we bring new chickens in, they're always very nervous about the new surroundings the new chickens tend to stay huddled together here inside the coop. Rather than getting out and exploring, they stick together because they know each other. Now here in the main coop, I've got their food inside, but the water is out in the run. And because I know our new chickens aren't gonna go out to the run, they're just a little too nervous to do that. I put a little waterer right in here. It's on a cement block here. So when they're thirsty, they'll have something that they're able to drink. It takes them a while to get used to everybody, but they will integrate 
and go in and out. And just be normal chickens after a while. It may take a week, it may take longer. We'll see, it depends on the chickens. I don't know if you can see her in there, but this little naked neck chicken, she's in her favorite nest box and she doesn't quite know what to make of all these new chickens crowding in around her special box. You've got more room in here. I'm sure you'll like it better once you're used to it. Yeah. I'm sure you'll like it better pretty soon. Your other friends will be coming pretty soon too. over here on the buck side. Some of these heroic survivor maples are finally giving up the ghost. This tree over here in the corner died a little while back and as it does die back to just dead leaves and basically just being an eyesore I'll cut them off but I'll leave the standing sticks for the goats to use as scratching posts and it's actually one of their favorite parts because as I cut them off I'll leave the branches here and they can finally eat the leaves that they weren't quite able to reach before. We made the decision back when we decided to put the buck pen here that we were going to let our goats go ahead and kill these scrubby little trees. That's just what they've done as they've eaten the bark away.
All right, chickens, are you ready? Are you ready for your big adventure? rest of your friends again. One big happy family. I think we got really lucky this time. Out of that whole batch of chickens, it looks like we've only got one rooster. We really couldn't hope for anything better. <laughs> 